Okay, we're in one of the most interesting spots of the whole Triassic, the whole formation in Pennsylvania County. These are cliffs that are well exposed and they're facing the south and therefore up here at some elevation above, the, above where the cold water usually cold air settles out, you find real early flowers in bloom almost two weeks before any other local flowers. And that's the Bannister River down there. We're above the old fish weir. And if you pan up here a little closer, this is where one Christmas we lucked in to a dinosaur footprint. He really wasn't a dinosaur, but he was a pre-dinosaur, known as what we thought was a thecodon. And we'll try to show you a picture of that a little bit later on. But he was in one of these shale layers in between this real hard quartzite layer. And we've tried to find more, but you're limited as to how much you can break off because all of this, being sandstone and siltstone, has been re-cemented with very hard quartz. And therefore, like if you look over here, the only certain places that you can even break off some of the shale layers because they've been re-cemented and hard. And the name for it is indurated, like indurated siltstone and sandstone and conglomerate. Now the prints were found in some shale. And we'll show you some shale beds a little bit later. But it's pretty obvious here that you know the typical thing about sedimentary layers that they are in layers, sedimentary rocks, when it's laid down. Now this hard right here is almost like quartzite. And if you take and look at it under a microscope, you'll find out it's very fine red siltstone. Much finer grain than regular sandstone. And then in between these, you have shale beds, but these shales have been hardened, have been hardened by the same processes, but this is where you find most of your fossils. Now, we don't go way back to where they're trilobites and all that, but at least we're able to find some petrified wood and some raindrops that were more or less molded in sand and different worm trails, which we'll try to show you some examples of later. But the very fact that you can see these different layers makes it interesting and it makes it definitely a sedimentary rock. Now let's see about this plate right there. Well, that's about it. Incidentally, there are certain ferns and certain mosses and plants that are in here that we don't find anywhere else in the county. We found a disjunct anemone here that's only found in Texas and Alabama. But if you stop to think about how sunny it is here, and it's above what we call the frost line, and facing south, everything up here is about two weeks earlier. So it's almost like being in Alabama. And if he can pan in right here, we have the resurrection fern. It's drying up right now, but when the wet weather comes, it'll green up and be a perfectly patch of a uh, beautiful patch of green fern so it's a rather interesting spot now you may want to pan the river here again from here it's obvious that the indians broke off large chunks of rock from these cliffs and made their indian fish wear that's down below here and we're going to come out and measure the height of this i think it's more or less 120 feet above the road really fascinating part of the camera. 